Well, hello, gentlemen, and how are you this evening? Now, I'm having just a couple of beers, or maybe a quadruple of beers, and I'm also having crisps, or chips, whatever you want to call them. So that's right, I'm having a kind of a party tonight. (laughs) But anyway, enough of that. But here's a picture of a security camera, obviously taking a shot of a parking lot, maybe in a block of flats or somewhere, just for security reasons, of course. But you never know what these cams are going to catch, do you? Whoops, you catch femons falling from the sky. But apparently not quite. She was having a kind of a steamy moment on her balcony with her boyfriend or a guy and she slipped off the balcony. Don't know how far the balcony was, but it seemed pretty high, didn't it? I bet she doesn't feel too amorous now. But anyway, apparently she slightly damaged her back and that's about all, really. The boyfriend comes down and helps her out and uh, takes her to the hospital where she spends a few days. But she recovers okay. Very lucky indeed. Honey, honey, where'd you go? I was thrusting and you weren't there. So remember out there, guys, before you get into your steamy moments with a femon, do a risk assessment, won't you? And as usual, I'll put a link down below. And here's a thumbnail of a video I did a little while back when I went to McDonald's, my car kind of broke down, and I had to call the AA. So it turned out to be a very expensive burger, really, but it's even more expensive because I just got through the mail a letter saying I owe £170 for a parking fine because I spent too long at their parking lot. Now, when my car didn't start, I went in and saw the manager at McDonald's and told them, and they took my license plate number. But just after I got it through the mail, I contacted McDonald's, and they said they can't do anything about it because they don't deal with the parking lot. How ridiculous is that? I had to drive on it to get to them, to drive through and get to them. And where does £170 come from, I wonder? Am I buying the parking lot? So I stayed a bit longer because my car had broken down. So I fired another email back at McDonald's and told them that I want to make a complaint about the manager at the McDonald's because I told them that I was broken down and he took my license plate number and said it would be fine. So you people out there just be aware about McDonald's car parks now. They're run by a private company and McDonald's wants to wash their hands of them, even though you have to go on them to get their burgers. Talk about a scam or what? Anyway, it's ongoing, but you think I'm going to pay £170 for what? I don't think so. So I guess the way it works is they scan your license plate number when you come in, and they scan it when you go out. They obviously don't care what happens in between that time, and I told them that they should look at the security cameras. They would see an AA van parked next to my car with my hood up. Anyway, that's ongoing, but you people out there be aware of that. Obviously, I'm not going to visit any McDonald's in the near future, as it should be as easy as them saying, oh, well, yes, he wasn't staying here going shopping somewhere else. His car had broken down, and that would be that. Anyway, thank you for listening to my problems. Uh, 